What's up, everybody? I hope y'all are having a great day. I'm Anthony. You are watching Palmetto Prepared. Now, on today's episode, we will be doing another honest review, this time on the Explorer Arc Lighter. Now remember, as with every single one of my honest reviews, this is me buying the product with my own money. Nobody is reimbursing me for this. Nobody contacted me first and said, hey, can you try out this product? This is me finding something that I wanted to uh, check out, doing my own review, seeing what I like, seeing what I don't like. That way I can pass the information on to my viewers. So just keep that part in mind when you're watching this. This is all me. Now, how I came to find this lighter, I was surfing around on Instagram. Yes, I begrudgingly was on Instagram because, you know, I'm trying to support my channel and do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and I was scrolling through other people's stuff and I kept coming across these advertisements, obviously, these sponsored tabs. And uh, I hit the same one like four times and it was for this, the Explore Arc Lighter. And I hadn't really seen any kind of mention of these before I know arc lighters but I haven't seen this style before and I kept running across the ad which I'll show you here so I decided to go ahead and buy this that way I could do my own review uh, because I think this product this type of product like an arc lighter has its place in our community so uh, let's go ahead and get started okay so the first thing I like about this the whole reason why I was like you know I might as well just buy this to test it out is because this thing is advertised as being windproof being an arc lighter is windproof so when you go ahead and open her up you see how an arc lighter actually works it makes this little arc of electricity between the, the poles here so that's going to light things <clears throat> and it's supposed to work where if there's any kind of wind it's not going to be affected so let's go ahead and test that Yep, still on. What about a traditional Zippo? <sighs> nope, it's out. What about a butane Zippo that I've done a review on in the past, which I'll put a link down in the description if you want to check that out. <sighs> That's out too. All right, so the next thing I do like about this is the fact that there is no fuel. That is an absolute plus because whenever you have a Zippo, Bic or whatever, you are at the mercy of how much fuel you have in there. The fact that this thing runs on no fuel means that if you run out, all you have to do is go to any phone charger, pop it in there within two hours, congratulations, you got a full charge and you're ready to go again. So the fact that you don't have to worry about being at the mercy of someone else, all you gotta do is just charge it, is a plus for me. Okay, so that brings me to number three. One of the reasons why I wanted to look at this thing was the fact that they advertised as being waterproof. Mainly because whenever you're looking at it, you have this little thing on the side here that keeps the lid shut so water doesn't get in. Now, I haven't tested this yet, but I'm going to on camera for the first time to see if it actually still works. Got a whiskey glass full of water here. Let's see, all right, we're gonna pop her open. Of course, why did I choose to do this when it's 30 degrees outside? I don't know. Still works. So yep, it's waterproof. So the fact that it's waterproof obviously is a huge plus if you happen to be outside in inclement weather. It's nice to know that instead of something like a Bic that happens to get wet, it takes a significant dry out time, uh, you can still light this thing all the time. Now, one of the biggest problems I have is I like to leave my lighters in my pocket and put them through the washing machine. I don't realize until I transfer from the washing machine to the dryer. At that point, most of my Bics are ruined. However, some will still light this thing. I know that it's waterproof. I can wash it all day and not have to worry about losing my lighter. So that's a, that's a plus in my book. All right, the fourth thing I like about this thing is the fact that it comes in different colors. I know that sounds kind of stupid, but hear me out here. When you look at the advertisement, the one that I showed you, it comes in bright orange. Now, that's a really good idea, especially if you're going to be camping, using this outside, doing a lot of things. So if you drop it, it's going to be able to be found. So that's why I got the red one. I don't want to have a bright orange one, but I wanted a red one. That way, if I put this thing on the ground after I lit a fire, all of a sudden, I'm going to be able to find it. No big deal, because if you get these, like black blue i say blue but uh green forest green that kind of thing you put those down you're never going to freaking find those again so the fact that i have a whole myriad of colors to choose from is only better for me and fifth and finally 
I like the fact that this thing is still compact enough to fit in my fifth pocket. Yes, when you have your jeans, I know a lot of people are trying to figure out what the fifth pocket's actually for. Long story short, back in the day, you used to be able to put your pocket watch fob in there so you could keep your pocket watch. Well, today the pocket watch is kind of gone, but we still have that fifth pocket. So I like to stash my lighters in there and Zippos fit perfectly. That's why I like carrying a Zippo all the time. However, this thing, if I wanted to carry it in my fifth pocket, I still totally can because it absolutely fits. So I'm putting that as my number five. All right, so now we are gonna move on to the cons. Uh, this is things I do not like about this product. And uh, first and foremost, because of my last video on the Vortex, uh, monocular a lot of people agree with me on this as a, as a con so I had to make sure I checked it on this product as well and guess what yes this is also existing on this thing and that is gonna be the fact that it is made in China now what pissed me off when I bought this product was the fact that I had to look everywhere online on the website on the Amazon site and nowhere could I find that it was made in China Obviously, when sites don't tell you where it's made, that's a pretty good tell that it's definitely not made in the United States because if it was made in the United States, they would say probably made in the U.S. So I said, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go ahead and buy it anyway because, I mean, it could be made in somewhere like Mexico, which, you know, it's still really cool. But the fact that when I bought this and all of a sudden I got the package and I, and I opened it and I, as soon as I opened the box, this is what I see. That confirmed my suspicion. Yes, it is made in China. So if you do not want to support the Chinese, then do not buy this lighter. However, just keep that part in mind. You're probably watching this video on a phone that's made in China, so you can't quite hate them too much because they're in everything these days. But if you are one of those people that wants to support American made lighters, then stick to things like Zippo and Bic because they are still made in the US. All right, so the second thing I don't like about this is kind of a play on one of the positives of it the fact that you know i liked it it's hey it's electrical there's no fuel but it's a negative in the fact that since there is no fuel there is no mechanical lighting effect as well does that make sense like so if i run out of fuel on a zippo or a bic yeah there's no butane there's no lighter fluid well guess what you still have a flint and steel so you can still create a spark so if you are in a situation where you absolutely have to make a, a fire or light something you still have the ability to make a spark well with this thing whenever you go to use it if there's no power if there's no juice it's going to be no worky you're not going to get anything so there's nothing you can use to make that spark so i view that as a negative that's why i'm putting it as my second con the number three con the number three thing i do not like uh, it's kind of a big one and it's one of the reasons why i bought this because I'm going to follow my train of thought here. Now, I thought since there's no fuel, there's no butane, there's no whatever, that it'd be, hey, a good candidate to leave in your vehicle because since there's no combustible gas in there, if it's summertime in South Carolina, I don't have to worry about the lighter exploding in my vehicle. That's one of the pluses. One of the reasons why I bought this. I was like, hey, I could just leave this thing in my truck. I don't have to worry about anything. But when you get this thing shipped to you and they come with this little handy, awesome card, down here in the warnings... It says things like, please do not keep in direct sunlight and do not expose to temperatures above 122 degrees, which definitely means you can't leave this thing in a vehicle. So that was one of the main reasons why I bought this so I could keep it in my truck. Now I can't do that, so that kind of pisses me off. All right, so that brings me to my number four thing I don't like about this. And this one I'm going to be sticking up for y'all smokers. Now, if you happen to be a fan of smoking things like cigarettes, then this thing will work perfectly fine for you. No problem. But if you smoke anything else, if you know what I'm getting at, uh, this probably won't work for you. Uh, now, if you smoke things like cigars, obviously the cigars are going to be too big to fit in here. But if you smoke things that require pipes or bowls or something of the sort then sticking this thing down into something ain't gonna work so i have to stick up for y'all uh it lets you know that if you want to use this to be able to do that kind of smoky smoky stuff then it's probably not going to work for you so you'll have to stick with things like your standard bic so uh yeah definitely got to put that in there because i know a lot of y'all do it don't lie to me all right, and my fifth and final complaint is uh, kind of a small one, but hey, you know, I got to put it on here. This case is made of plastic, and it doesn't really feel like great style plastic. It feels kind of what you get, what you pay for. You know, this thing cost me like $15, and it really does feel pretty cheap. So uh, I have to make sure I mention that in the price point, because you can buy Zippos for like $15, and they're metal. I'm going to spend $15 on something that's plastic, 
I don't know. This thing's gonna last, outlive me most likely, versus this thing, which I feel like if I get like, I don't know, if I drop this from any kind of distance, a few times, especially after it's been sitting for a while, the heat's kind of gotten to it, uh, and it'll get all nice and brittle. Because we all know plastic, when the heat gets to it, makes it brittle. I have a feeling that if this thing sits, or I have a little bit of wear to it, keep it from longer than two years, it's going to probably start to crack a little easier than it does now. So I want to make sure I put that in there as a con, because for the price point, I'll pick metal over plastic any day. All right, so there you have it. That is my pros and cons for this lighter. Uh, now time for the verdict. Would I buy this again? Probably. Uh, there's a few things, like I said, I do not like about this that really do hurt. The fact that I bought this legitimately to go in my truck and sit in there during the summertime in place of a lighter that I can't leave in there really does aggravate me and that was probably one of the main points of buying this however it is windproof it is waterproof and there is no fuel so those are the things right there that does keep this in the plus column for me so uh yes these are kind of cool to have around especially stash them at your house that way if you are stuck on an extended lockdown and you happen to run out of fuel all you got to do is plug this thing into a wall or into your truck car charger, battery charger, whatever. You can probably put this thing on one of those crank radios since it's got a USB and crank it up to charge it just enough to get a light out of it. So I think that alone makes this thing a buy, but uh, I wouldn't rush out and buy it again right now. But if you want to keep it like on a list for like a stocking stuffer or a gift, perfect. I think a lot of people would actually appreciate this if they were given it as a gift. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that as a plus for that purpose. All right. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you like this video, please do me a humongous favor and give me a thumbs up regardless if you actually do or do not like this product. A lot of people like to thumbs down a video because something happened to be made in China when in actuality the video was still good enough for them to watch the whole thing and they liked the video. So please do me a humongous favor and like this video if you made it this far. Subscribe to my channel if you have it and I'll catch y'all in the next one, okay?